it was really that 2009 championship ring that set the stage for the rest of our careers. It was the biggest, flashiest, most expensive championship ring made in history. Jason of Beverly Hills is really the bespoke jeweler that caters to a lot of the world's biggest celebrities, athletes, and entertainers. I really self-taught myself how to do the diamond jewelry business. I was around, I'm in LA, the epicenter of Hollywood, and I would always see athletes walking around with this big, ornate jewelry. Well, I wanted to be able to create some of that myself. I would sit home and I would draw different designs, and being the persistent person that I am, I would meet athletes, I would show them my designs, and before long, a single person gave me a shot. The late Anthony Mason, who was playing for the Milwaukee Bucks at the time, told me to come to his room, show him some diamond bracelets. I presented a makeshift catalog of diamond bracelets. He picked one, asked me the price. I had no clue, so I just split out 40,000. He gave me a deposit, and from that point on, I was in the business. I never forget the 2003 draft. That was my big homecoming. That was the LeBron, Chris Bosh, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade draft. One of the most epic NBA drafts in history. Well, guess what? That year, I had eight of the first 10 picks as clients. It really, really set up the business for the future. Today, we do over 300 professional athletes, over 200 of the 400 NBA players. We've done eight NBA championship rings. Getting these ring contracts has been a blessing. It's really elevated our brand to another stratosphere. I have the greatest job in the world. Like, I wanted to be in sports, I'm in sports. I wanted to be in luxury, I'm in luxury. I wanted to meet new and interesting people, and I do that every single day. What really makes us different is our close relationship with the players and really understanding what they want. These players and these organizations are not only clients, they're friends. What has separated us from the pack is that it's not necessarily bigger is better. It actually has to be better, not just bigger. What has allowed us to change the culture is that from the beginning, I was not afraid to take risks. I definitely want to leave a footprint in this industry when it's all said and done, but I'm a realist and I understand that people will forget about me the same way they forget about perennial all-stars as they go off into the sunset. But what I'm hoping is I've inspired some people, other young jewelers to do the same and be successful. For me, that's enough.